Do you remember me? I missed you guys. I really have not been posting. I haven't posted since like February and it is now May. But I just posted a really quick lip swatch video of the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipsticks. The reds and the pinks bundle. I really love those colors. Those colors are so pretty. But I have a tendency to re-watch shows or re-listen to podcasts. The only re podcast I re-listen to is the podcast. I love it. I'm a fangirl through and through. I love the podcast, the Bible binge, the whole thing. And I just listen to their stuff. They put out a lot of content. So I listen to primarily their stuff. I listen to music. I have not been watching YouTube like I used to. And the other day I went to do my nails. I put some little stickers on them and stuff. Look pretty. And while I was doing my nails, I decided to catch up on a couple of videos from Melina Siciati. And I got very inspired to pick vlogging back up. And it's not that she only vlogs. I just... I'm very inspired by her channel. She's a Michigander like me, and she's a Christian like me, and her videos are edited so beautifully, and her home is so beautiful. I think she's so wise. So I watched several of her videos while I was doing my nails, and I got kind of re-inspired to pick YouTube back up. So here I am. I want to do a favorites video because I haven't done one of those in a long time, and I have some favorites. But I just went to Bath and Body Works. My mom is going to be mad at me because I went without her. I loaded up on the champagne toast stuff. I got some soap. I wanted to kind of establish a signature scent in my treatment room. So I went with champagne toast because I like it. I think it's pretty universal. It's kind of fruity. My favorite scents are like the vanilla sugar cake. I want to eat it. Those are my favorite scents, but I know not everybody loves that. So I went with something a little bit more universal. I think this will, I wanted to add a little bit more of like a signature to what I do, keep clients coming back because I do play instrumental, very soft, smooth jazz while I work. And a lot of my clients really like that. So I wanted to kind of add in more sense, senses. They listen to good music and then now hopefully this scent will just remind them of my treatment room. And I do love it. So I got candles. So, and I feel like I probably talked about this in a video a million years ago and I need to see if I can find it because they have answered my prayers. I grabbed an essential oil and I got the lemon one. To be completely honest with you guys, I got this because I want to try mixing this in my hand sanitizer. One of the things that I love that you guys will see, I'll show you in the Bath and Body Works, I love these little Bath and Body Works pocket back hand sanitizer or whatever but they don't sell them in like big ones oh i should have got one for the cabin dang it i might go back in anyway i wanted them to come out with a real full size hand sanitizer because they smell so good i even tried like making my own with like the germex and then some essential oils essential oils aren't great for your skin definitely don't put them on your face and definitely don't use them ever without being diluted seriously they can be very damaging to the skin. But anyway, I saw these and I'm so happy that I left with one because I almost left without it. So, uh, yeah, I really, I think I'm going to go back inside. Yeah, I'm going to go back inside and get some for the cabin. <laughs> okay, I landed on mahogany teak wood for the cabin. Let's see how this smells. I'm not sure I've ever actually smelled this one. This hand sanitizer is like, it's white with those little, those little driblets in it. And I made the mistake with the one at the front counter. I did a full pump and it was like, it's way too much. It really is way too much. That is the perfect cabin smell. Oh, I love it. Okay. Now it's time for Starbucks. And then perhaps Hobby Lobby, if there's one around here. Maybe I'll go to like Michael's or something. There is a Michael's, maybe we should go there. Hey. What can I get for you? Hi there, can I please get a venti iced vanilla latte made with the sugar-free vanilla and almond milk? Yeah, anything else? That is everything. Awesome, total time is 16. Thank you so much. Did you hear her literally go, hi? That was so Ross. Hi there. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks, you too. I knocked the lid off. Stay. Okay. Yum.
Give me one. Let's get. actually not morning not even a little bit is it morning anymore I don't know what happened to me my days off are so bizarre I either wake up with Cameron at 8 o'clock in the morning or I keep sleeping so it is the following day I had such a weird night of sleep I got like a eye mask that has Bluetooth headphones in it so that I can sleep without bothering Cameron because I like to fall asleep to usually podcasts and those work, man. But I woke up at 5 a.m. with one of those Charlie horses in my calf that I literally act, I think like I'll probably act if I'm ever in labor, like really deep, heavy breathing. Like I wanted to cry. It hurt so bad. I sat up and I went to go grab my calf, but I like knocked that mask off my face and then it ended up behind me somehow. But I don't think I woke Cameron up, which is impressive, but now my calf hurts and it's probably gonna be sore for the day. So I'm afraid to stretch it because if I stretch it and I feel that kind of, especially if I point my foot, it makes me feel like I'm gonna have another one and that just hurts so bad. But anyway, I have a long to-do list today I might need to delegate some of it to tomorrow and the following day. But today's my day off. I'm not going into work. I have photos to edit. I did some maternity photos for a very, very lovely close friend of mine. We were very close in high school and now she's like married and pregnant and it's so exciting. So I took some photos for her. So I need to edit those. I gotta finish up the dishes. I have to do the laundry. I have nothing to wear. <laughs> I'm in my pajamas still. But first, I need to wash my face and, you know, actually get ready for the day. And I'm limping. And I'm limping. Okay. Stay. Okay. Hi you guys. I am so stinking tired this evening. It is about 9 o'clock and it's Friday the 20th and I'm gonna go to sleep now. I just wanted to quickly tell you guys good night and finish off this vlog. I'm hoping to post it tomorrow but thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really really glad to be back. Please let me know how you feel, what you'd like to see from me in the future in the comments down below. That would be great. I love chatting with you guys. So please let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos of mine. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. I feel like, oh, there's a lot of people right there.